Hey, hey, what's up? This is Stark Naked from 40 Radio. We got Shark Sinatra in the building. What's up? Shark, what's up? Where you from? Right here in the Bay Area, man. Born in Oakland from San Leandro, California. Yeah, so my roots is from right here. Hey, Stark. How old were you when you first started doing music? Man, ain't no telling. I was probably humming and shit while I was in kindergarten trying to chase the chicks and shit. I don't know, man. I started playing the saxophone really when I was in middle school, though. And I was a band geek and shit like that for a while. So the music started with me like that, and I was always listening to Luther Vandross and Stevie Wonder at the house, records playing all day, so that's really where music rubbed off of me and I started like get that vibe and I just started making my own music probably when I was about 16, 15, trying to put words together, hella like poems and shit, whether it was trying to get out a chick or talk about weed or some shit, you know what I mean? But yeah, hell yeah man, about 15, 16. Okay, you were doing this a minute. You mind telling people how old you are now? Um, just look it up. Nah, nah. I'm kind of I'm aging now. I really I be forgetting my age, so that's how you know I'm getting a little older. I'm 27. Okay, so you've been putting it in for, uh, for almost 15 years. Oh man, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that it like that, man. Uh, when it comes to like re- actually recording music. I sort of got serious about it about two years ago now, so I would say I have three years under my belt of the first song that time that I ever got behind, uh, you know, uh, uh, a recording booth. You know what I mean? So it's been a, it's been a, been a couple years, but uh, like I said, like the music has grown in me since I was little, so I guess I have 27 years of that in me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah exactly. I big respect to that. Well, yeah, we're uh, 40 Radio, we're an independent radio station. We, we recognize that the mainstream is not going to give the independent artists a chance to be heard. And it's really unfortunate, we got a lot of talent that uh, despite their efforts, they, they, don't, they don't reach very many people. So we, we aim to be that creative outlet for those independent artists. How far until we see the day that independent media takes over the industry? Or do you think that'll even happen? <clears throat> well, man, that's blessings to y'all for being that, man. Big ups to y'all. We, man, us, us, all us artists, you know, independent artists. You mean we, we respect that and having an avenue to go down. You feel me? To fuck with. But that's highly appreciated, though. First off, but. Man, I, I don't know if we'll ever see the day if, that, if that'll if that come about. Um, you know, it's always going to be the big wigs, but I think there is a lane, and you see it sort of coming true with with artists these days, you know what I mean, with just staying independent and staying true to yourself and just fuck around and just doing tours, booking shows, and just getting love that way, you know what I mean, growing your fan base. It really don't have to be about, you know, all this huge hype and all this shit, but... I don't know if it's ever going, you feel me, unfold like that, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. Appreciate your opinion on that. Now, do you feel that as an independent artist, you have grown more lyrically than other artists that you hear on the mainstream radio stations? <clears throat> Man, I'd say so. I'm really like super duper like hip hop head, you know, that's when I really started like rhyming and shit. Um, shit rubbed off on me, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I forgot the question now, so we, we, <laughs> let me just run it back. Yeah, what are you talking about? Um, basically comparing uh, artists in the, in the mainstream to independent artists on a, on a lyrical tip. Okay. Oh, yeah, the lyrics. Yeah, man, I'm pure, pure, like, I'm a hip-hop head, like I said. Like, underground, real underground, independent. The lyrics really mean more, you feel me, to us, I would say, in my situation, of course, because, man, just because, I mean, it's real hunger, you know what I mean, when you ain't doing as well as these top cats or even the local cats around you that's doing as good as they doing. 
but you know what I mean it's, it's just gonna give you that hunger and fuel that fire to say some hot ass shit you know what I mean or just come up with some clever ass hooks or something you know what I mean so I would say all us independent artists are you know what I mean I don't know if it's gonna affect all of us the same way but personally yeah hell yeah the the lyrics come a little bit more easier when you when you're not doing as well I don't know in my opinion yeah yeah I'll fail you on that what do you feel has been your biggest accomplishment so far in your career? <clears throat> Man, just fitting in, just fitting in and, and be able to rock shows and, and, and hold mics and hold stages with some of the some of the cats that I grew up and listening to and, and I wouldn't say idolize, but some of the cats that I, you feel me, um, look up to as a musician and as an artist, you know what I mean? We always uh, like look back at the show. I, me personally, I look back at the shows that I've rocked, you know, all the shows and all the people that I've been able to share my shit with, share my story and share my messages with. So that's, I mean, that's really my biggest accomplishment though. I wouldn't say that's anything too supreme yet, but like all the shows that I've got to rock, yeah, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. Definitely. Big, big accomplishments there. I don't want to name drop and say all the shows that I've rocked and who I've done shows with, but just artists that I look up to, you know what I mean? And just, I've got to open up for them. And I know that's not no big shit, but just sharing your name on a bill with somebody that you have huge respect for, that's just like pretty dope. Definitely, yeah, yeah. Sharing, uh, sharing your music and uh, being a part of that. Definitely something to be proud of. That's a big accomplishment. Shark, what avenues do you use to promote your music? <clears throat> Man, I'm sort of like an older cat, so the internet world has sort of taken me by storm. I would have to admit, but you know what I mean? I try to stay up on my shit. I got a SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash Shark Sinatra. You can check all of my music out there. It's all free. Um, Reverb Nation. Uh, that as well is a great avenue that I'm uh, also on and available to, you feel me, come check me out there. Got all my videos up there if you want to see more of all of my videos. A lot of ciphers. Teambackpack.net. Those are my little brothers right right there. And they got all of my music and shit that I release. Go through them. A lot of the ciphers. I don't know if you've ever checked them out. But they're a dope-ass community out there. Shout out to my niggas from Team Backpack. Much love to y'all. And then, man, um, just out here on the street, man. Just out on the beat. You can find it everywhere, man. Just just in the right ear, man. Just just stay tuned. Yeah, that's what's up. You're listening to Shark Sinatra on 40 Radio. And I'm stark naked. We're doing this interview right now on this beautiful day in the Bay Area. We're talking about current events right now we're talking about why do you think there's so much so much feuding in hip-hop man <clears throat> the feuding in hip-hop that probably goes back to when it first started just because probably something I, I alluded to earlier just the hunger man it's real competitive not everybody everybody who's doing worse is trying to do better and everybody at the top trying to stay there so that goes down from the big wigs and, and the people that's on the radio down to us independent artists that's striving to get to to that level, you know what I mean? Like, it's just com competition and I'm sure like, man, when somebody has a bad opinion about your shit, your life, you putting out there, like, that shit scorns you, you know what I mean? Like, that shit hurts, you putting all your efforts into something and it's just passion, that's why, you know what I mean? I think that's why the feuding will always be. Hopefully it will always stay nonviolent. And my I'm too old for that shit. You know what I mean? I'm a little bit, you know, seasoned in this shit and I seen some rough times and been through wild shit and uh, you know what I mean. I would advise everybody to just stay with the out of the violence, but you know what I mean? But as far as feuding, that's always gonna be, I think it's good for, you know, hip hop as well though. You know, having the little beefs here and there, non-violent though, of course though. 
But, uh, man, I think that shit is dope, though. You know what I mean? Just saying, you know what? I think I'm tighter than you. You know, I think I, my flow is doper than yours right now. Or I'm saying my bars is harder or whatever it is. It's just passion. Yeah. Yeah, man. Respect. I respect that. Appreciate your opinions. What's your number one favorite song of yours? And does it hold any special meaning? Woo! Of uh, mine that I... The, okay. Uh, damn. Um... I was fit to say, um, one of my favorite songs, shit, um, hmm, damn, I think, uh, probably one of my most personal songs that was probably, um, like, probably really, like, you feel me, memorable to myself, was a song I did with a cat, Dope talented artist Dregs one he from San Francisco he's also an independent upcoming artist he's dope uh, I did a song with him it's called family and uh, like I was sort of like spilling my guts and shit on that shit like for a verse about my situation and I guess that was probably not my favorite song at all but it was sort of like the most personal song my favorite song I ever done I don't know just now that I'm thinking about it it's probably one that y'all will never fucking hear with some artists that are hella dope but you know the shit just never works out and, and, and man you know what I mean like y'all probably would never fucking hear that song uh, but man but yeah, but that was my favorite song, man. He said, "Not, I'm not gonna name. Oh, excuse me, not gonna name drop again. I don't do that. That's tacky as fuck. But dope artists out here from the Bay Area that y'all love too. So, man, that's why I'm upset that I can't share that with you. But that was probably one of the dopest songs that would never ever came out. But man, man, there's some shit. There's some shit going down out here. God damn it. That's what's up. What project are you currently working on? Woo, man, a uh, very important, special message and and just movement that I'm trying to share with everybody is just um, my next project is just going to be like a self evaluation. And it's I've been on some like mad scientist type shit. Like I haven't been dropping uh, too many songs, which sort of like hurts me because I really would love to share with y'all this shit. But um, look for my shit coming out soon. It doesn't have a name or anything like that to that. But I would appreciate it if y'all looked into that soon. Um, probably sometime before the summer, I'm going to be dropping this project. But uh, yeah, man, I, I, will, I will highly appreciate it if y'all fucked with it, though. Yeah. So yeah, they got to check you out. So what avenues do you, do you use to promote your music? Oh yeah, besides besides Reverb Nation, how can they reach you? Mm, you can reach me Twitter. Um, Twitter is Shark Sinatra, all one word at Shark Sinatra. Uh, Facebook, you can holler at me uh, as a friend on on a real life hype. My real name is Frank, that's why I go by Sinatra. And uh, just type me up, Frank Shark Sinatra, or like my fan page. I highly appreciate that. And uh, shit, what else? Instagram, check me out how I live and shit like that And like my shit, comment on my shit and you know Vibe with me, I'm a real life person Like you can sort of see I'm an artsy dude You know what I mean? Come check my, my Instagram pictures out <laughs> Yeah, check him out You gotta follow him, check out what he's up to He's dropping some hot shit Yo, uh, Shark Sinatra, who is the one Who's one artist you hope to collaborate with in the near future? <clears throat> In the near future, somebody I would like to collaborate with. Um, I'm going to just say um, I've already collaborated with him. And I'm just saying just because it's like in the near future. So it's like attainable. You know, um, one of my homies, Raglan. Uh, he's a dope ass artist from the Bay Area. We've already had a song together through my hom other homie, Skip, HBK Skip. Shout out to him and the HBK gang, of course, you know what I mean? Doing a lot for the Bay Area. Love and blessings to them. Um, but yeah, I want to do this song with Raglan. I already sent him the beat. And we putting it together right now. So yeah, man, that, look out for that song as well. Yeah. I got to ask, 
What is the most embarrassing song I would find in your iTunes or music folder? Man, so many, so many embarrassing songs, man. Like I said, like I'm hella weird, like when it comes to so throwback music. Um, probably like I don't know, like Leonard Skinner shit, or like I don't know what would be a surprise to to find in my shit, cause all this shit is like I think all this shit is epic in my shit, but like, but like maybe like I don't know. Um, a lot of sublime a lot of sublime man i don't know man like you it, it'll fuck around and surprise you that's like great. the shit that i listen to that's great but that shit affects me though like real talk right now like right now the craziest song that i have i would say um damn fuck Woo. um trinidad trinidad <laughs> yeah, i actually have that, that trinidad man like man that shit's that shit's hard though, man. I respect the the, move, the movement, man. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. But let me follow that question with: uh, If you had to listen to one artist for the rest of your life, who would that be? Oh man, one artist for the rest of my life. <sighs> I had to go with. I think I had to go with uh, Marvin. I have to go with Marvin, man. I don't think I could go like hella mornings without listening to some of that, some of that Marvin Gaye, man. I don't know. I'm like an old soul, like a real old soul. So some original shit. I can. We can definitely dig that. Huh? If you weren't making music, what would you be doing? Mm, probably, man. I don't know. Not too much. Not too much of anything, man, really. Because it's a huge, huge part of me. Music is a, a huge, man, meaning to me. So if I wasn't doing it myself, I'd be knocking somebody else's shit and dancing into their shit and downloading their shit on, and going on their YouTubes and watching all their videos. I'd be doing that shit, you know what I mean? So... I'm glad that to be a part of it, man. And and I appreciate it if y'all did the same for me, man. Love, though. Yeah, it's much love. We, we appreciate you uh, spending time with us today, sharing your thoughts and opinions today. And we appreciate you sharing your music so we can get it out to our fans and into the world. Yeah, once much again, respect. Once again, thank y'all, man. Thank y'all for having me. It's been nothing but a pleasure. Blessings to y'all and to the listeners out there. Much love. Much love. Yeah. Shark Sinatra. Check him out on 40 Radio at 40radio.com. Stark Naked. Tune in. Five out.